we have our WGS server all set up, ready to go. So I've just pixie booted this machine, and it's found the, well, it's found a response. So we press F12 to accept the the uh, boot image that downloads. Sorry, that's gone off the screen, but uh, that downloads and gets us up and running and then it proceeds to start looking for the installer so do something that looks very familiar to us installing Windows 7 so set up starting okay our locations not the US So we want to use our administrator's um, account. So, so domain is three one two local backslash administrator. Our password is our ever faithful password one. So we've got a choice of only one thing, Enterprise, Windows 7 Enterprise, which is what we put on the machine. So it's downloading the installer files, copying them across the network, expanding, beginning in the installation of the features in a moment. You can see this video is running a little bit quicker just to show most of the stuff but at an accelerated rate. And yet another reboot. We're just about ready to log on to the machine. Uh, no, we're not. Some more configuration. So it's a pity it doesn't carry over the information from the previous settings. So down there's Australia, time and currency Australia. Next. Now you can in the uh, unattended setup files bypass this and not have a an account set up on the machine. So I'm just setting up an admin account and one thing I would do at one point later on is log on as a domain administrator, go into the local users um, settings and disable the local admin account that I've just created. So again, it hasn't remembered that we're in Australia, so we choose this. The time will reset. So again, another reboot. And now we're ready to log on. So we'll log on as our test user, our uh, ordinary domain user that we created a while back. And the way we're going to test that this machine is actually part of the domain is we're going to go and have a look at our home drive, which was located across the network 
on the server on its secondary disk. So there's our H drive. So we, we can create stuff, so create a folder, old documents. And we can move these ones around. So that's proof that we've got the access to the drive and to the materials and everything that we need. So let's have a quick squeeze over on the controller in Active Directory Users and Computers. So click on Tools and click on Computers when it comes up. And there's our 312 PC001. It's a workstation, operating system 7 Enterprise. Yeah, I'll just have a sticky peek at a couple of these other bits and pieces. But as you can see, the machine is part of the domain. It's been installed across the network without the use of the local DVD drive. And it just makes life a little bit easier, particularly if you do unattended files. And that is an exercise for you later.